How to Feed a Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. The Loon. The Loon. <laughs> and folks, we're really excited today because we are making a spectacular dish. <laughs> It's so good. It's so healthy. And it's so good. And it's so it's healthy. It's really so delicious. Good. It's it's healthy. Right. No. <laughs> I'm doing my our Mediterranean tuna steaks. <laughs> yes, we are. Sorry, I'm laughing at my guilty. Ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, can we just talk about these pieces these of meat? These look amazing. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. So, I mean, tuna is... It's just one of our favorite. It's like it's, literally like a big old piece. It is a big old piece of steak. And it's the way that he prepares it. It's just, it's, I don't even think of it as a tuna. Really. <laughs> it's really, really good. And we're going to do it Mediterranean style, which is so obviously yes. loaded with flavor. And again, good for you. All so right. you get over there and This start is what I want you to do, okay. though. So we've got two uh, tuna steaks right here. Two Let fillets me guess. of tuna. I'm going to salt and pepper them. Yes. Um, I believe these are yellow fin. <laughs> oh, They're perfect. And, and speaking of our little yellow fin, <laughs> Flo, I was thinking earlier, Eb never comes over. You need to like nope. see. Eb, come here. Come here, Eb. Eb. So anyway, while Eb is working his way over, he didn't want to come over. Yeah. I want you good. to, uh, we've got some kosher salt yep, and we've got some salt freshly, everything. freshly ground black pepper. Just, you know, f uh, pep, salt and pepper both sides. I've got it. Now I've got over here, I've got a nice size skillet that I put over medium, medium high heat. A couple tablespoons of olive oil. And I've got one whole uh, yellow onion. Woo! It's a party. It's something sizzling in up in That's here. That's right. It is a sizzling. Hey, can I ask you a quick question? Am yes. I all right with the, how much pepper should I put on there? Uh, just, it should I, be a pepper steak. However you like, <laughs> you know, whatever your taste is. I mean, okay. we like it kind of peppery. peppery. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, oh, it's going to. These are so good looking. So now you're going to want to sweat these onions uh, for a couple minutes until they get, you know, nice and soft. And um, they're going to be delicious. And then we're just going to continue to build the flavor and we'll show you that. This is so, these remind me of Nice. Lovely Nice. Not Nice France. We do have a lovely Nice, but he's talking about <laughs> Nice France. <laughs> yeah, we, we have a couple of nice sweet nieces, several actually. Um, so we were in Nice France uh, oh, a few years ago and uh, we did a whole took. trip down through the south of France. Best Highly recommend it. Foodie. Ever. Oh my gosh, foodie heaven. But, um, and we had so much tuna, and the tuna was fresh, straight out of the sea. It was, uh, it was amazing. incredible. I mean, it was like, I think, caught the day that we <laughs> ate it. Like we did we that. Had, what is it, the Nishiswa? Or is it Nishiswa? No. What the hell is it? Nishiswa salad. Nishiswa. Nishiswa. <laughs> no, it's, it was not a gooey no. soup. Anyway, all right, so now this is getting um, nice and. Uh, Translucent. So now I've got uh, several cloves of garlic. Throw them in there. Be, if it's Mediterranean, we got to have some garlic. So we're going to add that to the party, and we're going to let that cook until it gets. I mean, the smell is so good. I know. So what we're doing first is we're just making a little sauce that is going to accompany these oh, right. beautiful, beautiful. Let's tell um, people why you're over there. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Well, I'm making the Mediterranean sauce to go on the Mediterranean tuna steak. So we're going to make this sauce first, and then we're going to sear these uh, tuna fillets right up, and then put the sauce on top. And it's going to be really, really good. Yes. OK, I'm going to let this go for just a couple minutes, and then we're going to finish off the sauce. Yeah, and I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop salting flow underneath me. <laughs> okay, so How's these are turning a nice, beautiful, golden color. They're just perfect. Yeah. Now we've got, I have got a can of San Marzano tomatoes. Find them at the grocery stores. Make sure it says certified. Make sure they're so certified they, you know, they so you know from, they're from San Marzano. Yeah, the, at the base of the Mount Vesuvius, it's the, the richest, most delicious uh, tomatoes in the world. Anyway, what I did was I drained them, I and then gold. I just roughly chopped them. Um, they're so flavorful. If it's, it, you know, if tomatoes are in season and you can get a beautiful tomato, fresh tomato of your own, do that. That's great. I can't wait. I can't wait till they're in season here. I know. Okay, so now... We're gonna add those in. That's gonna be wonderful. Yes. Get that stirred in. Smelling pretty Mediterranean. Let me tell you that right now. <laughs> now I've got. I can smell the sea. Oh yeah. no, that's just the tuna. That's just you. <laughs> um, and then we've got two tablespoons of fresh parsley, Italian parsley that I've chopped. And then, really to bump up the flavors, I've got uh, twelve 
basil leaves that are roughly chopped. And we're Yay, gonna that. I love basil. I do too, I really do. Okay, and then the other fantastic thing, we're, so we're gonna let this cook down. I'm gonna add, borrow some of your salt. And um, you know, we gotta make sure we're seasoned. Mm -hmm. And then you go ahead and do a Take little- Take some pepper. Do a little pepper. And then I'm gonna let this cook down for a little bit. Then what we're gonna do is we are gonna, then we're gonna sear up those tuna steaks. And then we're gonna finish everything together and we're gonna add some beautiful black olives and some capers. Is that uh, not incredible? <laughs> no, it's not. I'm kidding, of course it is. <laughs> All right, this is gonna simmer for about Yay! 15 minutes. Oh, you guys. It smells so good. It smells incredible. Now, you it's, see how that's, just, it's kind of thickened. It, it, the, it the, looks uh, amazing. It really does. The, the, the liquid has reduced a little bit. It's, it's perfect. It's absolutely. Oh, yay. <laughs> All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set this aside. I'm going to uh, do the switcheroonie. I'm going to do an old switcheroonie. And I've got another skillet here. We'll come back to that incredible sauce in just a moment. I got another. Um, skillet right here <laughs> that I've got a couple of uh, tablespoons of olive oil that I am heating Yay. and uh, what I'm going to do first oh. is I've got a big old I, I got garlic myself wedge. a big old clove of garlic and garlic what I wedge. did is when you smash garlic a lot of times that it just releases the oil that you get um get it a down wonderful, there so people can see up there you get a wonderful um my Skillet is still waiting to heat up, but you get I, smashing it as opposed to mincing it and putting it in there. If you just want to infuse the oil, um, this is a really great way of doing that without oh. having big old huge So you chunks. just crack it and then run it and around then, in And the then oil. let it simmer in that oil for, um, you know, like a minute or two. Yeah. And it really, it just gives a nice um, garlic taste to the oil. That's really good also to do if you want to... Um, maybe put a little garlic oil on some toast without having giant chunks of garlic. It gives it just a taste of garlic. You can also another trick with toast Ooh, is once it's once all you, these little tips. I know when you tips. get when you get toast out, um, take a piece of garlic like here that you've kind of smashed and just rub it. Rub on it. There. Just rub it. And what that does is it just imparts those oils from that garlic on the bread without giving you giant chunks of garlic mm, in your mouth. And then you can have it with your spaghetti. You can. <laughs> okay. So now what we are going to do, I'm going to go ahead and leave this in here because these are... Uh, mm, it's just well, a little you bit know what? Here. Who cares? I know. So now, now be careful. Now, those are delicate tuna sticks. Oh, thank you. Okay. <laughs> so now what we're going to do, these, because it's seafood, which is one of the things we love about it, it's cooked really, really oh, cooked. I was like, wash really, your really, hands too. Really, really quickly. And you should also <laughs> wash your hands as well. Um, but <laughs> anyway, it cooks very quickly. So it cooks for about two to three minutes per side for a nice, you want the, you don't want to overcook tuna. You don't want it no. to be, you don't want tuna to be well done. But if you, you want do, a nice sear on if it. you do want it well done, then don't eat tuna. That's all I have <laughs> exactly. to say. Exactly. You know, <laughs> go have a hamburger. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to put these in here and they're going to go have a hamburger. Yeah. You know, don't ruin the fish. Or have by, a tuna oh, salad sandwich. Yeah. Or a <laughs> fried fish sandwich or something. Now hear that sizzle? Hear that sizzle. Okay. So, so does now, Flo. Flo hears the sizz. That's right. She's a smart dog. So you don't want to overcrowd the pan. So this recipe calls for four fillets. So I usually do them in batches. You can keep, after they're done cooking, you can keep them warm in a very yeah, low grade like oven. Like 250 or something. Yeah, or you can have two skillets going on at once. So, but just don't overcrowd your pan, that's important. Okay, all right, so like I said, these are gonna go about two minutes, two to three minutes on one side. We're gonna flip them, and they're gonna cook about three minutes on the other side, and then we're gonna finish them off in the sauce. Yes! Is this not a thing Those of beauty? Those look amazing. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. Okay, so now these are just about oh, cooked to perfection. I'm silent. I know, it's, it's a thing of beauty. <laughs> so now we're gonna take our incredible Mediterranean tomato, basil, onion, garlic sauce, and we're just gonna put, let me do it this way. Yes. We're gonna put that in there. Wonderful. So it can all get that's great. happy together. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's amazing. Now, like I said, I'm going to turn this heat now. You're going to want to turn your heat down just a little bit. Yeah, now you we got to overdo it. 
your one of your favorite things in the world are black, black olives. olives. And you can do as little or as much as you want. I think I do like a whole cup of black because olives. Because I love them so much. We do. And look how gorgeous that is. And then I've got these incredible oh, the capers, capers. nonpareil yes. capers. Oh, these are so delicious. They're so quintessential uh, If people Mediterranean. wanted to throw other types of olives in there, is that totally Yeah, fine? oh, absolutely. Totally fine? Cool. Totally fine. Totally, totally, totally fine. Totally fine. Okay, so now this is just going to cook uh, for about another five minutes till it's beautifully, I mean... It's almost ready now. It really is. It's just, we're going to, basically what we're doing is we're just heating it all up um, so all of these flavors can really meld together and then we're ready to eat. We're yeah. going to plate it and it's going to be And I'm going to eat it. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, you guys. This is, talk about a thing of beauty. Oh my. And that is delicious looking. I feel like it should oh. be like in the Louvre or something I, like a photo of it or yes, something. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, um, you don't ruin that photo and put it on my plate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is one big tuna steak. <laughs> no. Yes. And that look. Ooh, and I could put your bean, your, um, what is it, those beans and tomatoes next to it? Oh. So right, what he's trying beans. to say is that this is really good as a side dish. We have a recipe called sautéed white beans with uh, garlic, tomatoes, and yes. sage. And it's a wonderful That's side dish to this. That's the but, ticket. Um, okay, let's dig this. Oh, I don't even hardly need. Oh, that is perfectly that's done. beautiful. You want it pink on the inside, yeah. people. Now, you know, oh. that's, that's a nice, you know, um, medium rare. Yes. Which is the way tuna should be prepared. But if you don't, if you want it a little less pink, you can go, let it go for, you know, a good, another five minutes, you know, like. I can't even. Wesley was so worried that I was overcooking it. Um, <laughs> what's the verdict? Absolutely amazing. It's ridiculous. There's so many flavors going on there. I know. It's like, it's like a, a Mediterranean sea of flavors. <laughs> it's, it's like, I know. It, oh my it, gosh, that is so good. Yeah. I mean, that is, uh, you know, if eating healthy, if you're eating healthy, <laughs> that, that doesn't taste like you're eating No, healthy. I mean, it it's... It is so good. It's so good. And, and, and that tuna. And guys, this is something you can so easily make at home. And oh. I'm telling you, you serve this, it's like being at a... Oh. You know, a super fancy mm. restaurant. Mm, mm, mm. That, that's a steak. That's a steak. <laughs> now that is 100% Luna approved. <laughs> I think he put, a, he put a steak in that. I did. All right, well, I've got to have a Take little bite some. of this. This looks so amazing. It, just all of the, the combination of the, of the, the everything. I, I know. And see how that's just like little pink on the inside. That's, that's oh, the way I love, love it. Love, get some love. of these tomatoes, these capers. Mm. Now you can get this recipe and many more on howtofeedaloon.com. Right? <laughs> Fine, I'm just going to have some too. Wow. <laughs> I love it. Go to social media, like us, share us. Yes. Make this mm -hmm. and rejoice. And make sure it's never overdone. Yeah, don't overcook it. But mm -hmm. um, you guys... You got to make this. It's to die for. Hey, everybody. Hi. Now, if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's right. If you get more amazing seafood recipes mm. like this, just swim on over here and click this button. <laughs> yeah, click, click, click or click, subscribe. Click. Yeah. Boop, boop. <laughs>